Hello and welcome to my new video series Integrating Flash with XML. My name is Craig Campbell and I will be your instructor throughout the duration of this course. Now in this video series we're going to start by defining XML, explaining what it's used for, and reviewing the advantages of using XML in general and especially using XML with Flash. Now with this basic introduction out of the way we're going to jump right in and get our feet wet with a few XML projects. The first project we're going to work on is a news project. We're going to create a dynamic text field in Flash and we're going to pull in news stories from a XML text file. And you'll find that it's very easy to read through and to update an XML text file. The next project we'll work on is an XML slideshow. And the advantage of using XML with a slideshow is that you don't have to go back into Flash if you want to update your slideshow, if you want to add more pictures or take away pictures. All you have to do is update the XML file. Uh, so we're going to pull in the URLs of our images and captions for our images. We're going to pull all of that in from an XML file. The third project we're going to work on is going to be a music playlist. We're going to create a simple music player for our Flash website and we're going to pull in song titles and the URLs for these MP3 files. We're going to pull all of that in from an XML file. And then finally, for our last project, we're going to build a video player. And we're going to pull in, again, titles and URLs of videos from an XML file. And uh, we're going to go one step further with the video file. We're also going to integrate a list component. And we're going to populate that list component with data from our XML file. Now some of this may seem complex, but you'll find as we go through the series that it's actually a little bit easier than you might think. So if you're more of a designer than a programmer, uh, don't worry, this isn't going to be too complex. This really is an easy concept to understand. Some of this might take a little bit of repetition before you can fully wrap your mind around everything, uh, but for the most part, if you are really committed to learning this material, you'll find it's really not going to be too difficult. So with that said, let's go ahead and move on with our video series. Thank you for watching.